When you arrive, the gas should be turned off. Uh, so what you do is this wee yellow one, turn it up, going the length of the pipe, and that's your gas on. If you want to change cylinders from one cylinder to the next, if you run out, you do this one here, or you do this. So it's currently pointing that way to the cylinder that's being used. So to light the geyser, it'll uh, when you arrive, it'll be like this. The knob will be turned off. This is your lighter. So if you press that and you hear the wee click, if it doesn't click, just jiggle it about a wee bit. And then what you have to do is turn the knob round to here, hold it there, and do the click at the same time. And that lights your pilot light. Just hold it in, because you're pushing the button in at this time. And you see there, I didn't hold it in long enough. So I'll turn it back, push it in, turn it back. What I'll do is put it around again, pushing it in, and the click. I'm holding the button in, the big knob in. Make sure the pilot light lights properly. There you go, and it stays alight. Then I move it round to the small flame, just here. Or if you need it a higher temperature, you move it round to here. We normally just keep it on this one, and this is your temperature as well, which you never really move, so that would be the way to do it. And then when you leave, um, just turn it right round, push it in, turn it right round, and everything goes off. But if you're going out for the day or anything like that, uh, or out for a while, don't worry about turning it off, you can keep it on uh, the whole time, just when you're leaving after your week's over. So sorry the caravan isn't uh, up to your usual standards, so there's lots of little things that just uh, need a little bit of uh, working and know-how um, when things are old. So the front door, just the key will be a wee bit sticky, just work on it. Uh, and then push, turn the handle and push in a bit, push in a bit and then pull it out and that'll be it. So then when you come in, pull the door, give it a good pull. And for some strange reason, it seems to lock itself. So just we uh, turn to the left like that, and it opens itself. Just give it a good pull, and it's it's sort of locked itself. Uh, not that fully locked, going to the to the right, but coming back to the left. So you may find just on closing the door, it might sort of try and lock itself. So that's just one wee thing there. And the other door uh, near the front of the caravan. Again, just unlock it from the inside. We don't have any key for the outside. It just works as normal. But when you're closing it, if you just pull it, it doesn't catch. So give it a pull and another wee push, pull towards you. And that will uh, just secure it closed. So the tap of the kitchen, uh, I'm not sure if it's our tap or it seems to be the pressure around the caravan site, especially if there's a lot of people about. Uh, not a lot of pressure sometimes, that's your cold. And then your hot, turn it on fully. And if you listen carefully, you'll hear the boiler turning on. That should, hot water should come. If the pressure drops, the, the geyser automatically uh, turns off. Uh, so it, then if you want hot water, you just turn it off again. And then turn it back on and you'll hear the, the geyser going again. So if you're not getting the hot water after maybe 30 seconds, then just try it again by turning it on and off. So now we're in the bathroom, just to show you the shower. You can pull the glass panel back, but not too far, or it'll come off its hinges. And then the tap. Um, so when you want to shower, what I would do is turn the Hot water on full, keep it going, it'll come out the tap here and then when you get into the shower um, the wee thing that you pull up to make it come out of the shower head is broken so 
use a pet set of pliers and it'll pull up and it'll stay up then when the water is on. And you just push it down with your finger when you're finished. So in the cupboard with the geyser, uh, you'll find some keys. Uh, two keys that you might need. The first one says uh, back box on it. So it's at the back. Padlock on the side. Lift it up and I'm not sure if you'll need anything in there at all, but uh, it's all there anyway. You can uh, do what you want with it. If you want to cut the grass, go ahead. The other key says on it, barbecue, etc. Barbecue, etc. Okay. That will open the padlock at the cylinders. I'm going to also open the padlock at the green box at the side. Just there. And there's a couple of chairs in there if you wanted to sit out in the sun if you get any. In the small bedroom, uh, there's one small heater, which isn't very good. So the switch is above the door, just there. And the heater is in the roof. Okay, it's just a wee heated panel. Uh, it gives off very little heat. So it's the kind of thing, uh, if you're feeling cool, you can keep it, actually keep it on all night. Don't forget turned off in the morning, like we did. We left it on for a week, uh, but anyway. Uh, but there are there is a wee heater in the front of the caravan that you could bring up if you want to heat up the small room. So at the front of the caravan, um, there's a nice wee radiator there. Uh, just to plug in one and that could be moved into the small bedroom if you need a wee bit more heat there. Uh, but there might not be much room at all for it. Uh, also just beside that, just beside the front door, uh, we covered with uh, games and stuff in it if you uh, want to occupy yourselves. Plus, we also have underneath the coffee table Scrabble Anniversary Edition. So, you want to play with that? Uh, feel free. And then, also at the front of the caravan site, uh, just around this side, there's the oh, no TV. So, you'll have to sit and talk to each other. Sorry. And we uh, clock on the mantelpiece. Uh, if you want to know what the tide's doing, this one here on the right says high and low. So at the moment it's one hour to low tide. When it passes that, obviously, uh, just over six hours up to high tide. Uh, so at the moment it's almost low tide. If you're using the oven, uh, you turn this knob round. Uh, you need to push it in. Push it in and then hold it in. So at the same time as doing that, I'm just doing it with one hand, of course, but you'll need two hands. Hold that button in, that uh, knob in. Open your door, pull that out a wee bit, and right at the back, you get your clicker, and you put your hand right in, right at the back, and you light the gas in there. If you want to light the grill, pull it down, Again, use the other knob, hold it in uh, once you've turned it, uh, and you light it, the grill uh, up in here, and you hold the knob in for ages. Uh, the grill doesn't light very quickly. Um, the flames will be lit, but you need to hold it in. It could be up to a minute uh, with that uh, for the grill, but the oven will uh, light and stay light. Lit it, light it, lit it, uh, much, much easier. And for the hob again, you'll need two hands. So one hand you press the button down, turn it round. That uh, keeps the gas flowing. Uh, keep that in the position. I'm just going to leave go now because I've only one hand. And then you light the gas with your clicker. And the rest of the kitchen, I've seen, uh, you, I presume you know what to do with it. Plenty of cupboards. You can eat it away at whatever you want. All in there. It's been in there all summer, so please do feel free to eat it. And lots of summer stuff, or no, summer stuff, breakfast stuff in there, so please feel free to eat all that. Don't be going out and buying stuff and leaving it for us, because we won't eat it. 
and you just come around here to Peter and Cheryl's biscuit stash and as you uh, can see and as I've just said it does, does not say Karen and Anne's biscuit stash so uh, if anybody else opens it it might explode so very careful with the Peter and Charles biscuit stash or you may get in trouble. And of course when you're playing Scrabble and you're not sure about the words we have the Scrabble uh, dictionary um, you can use that but remember the rules you can only use the dictionary after you've put a word down and if that word is not correct if it's not in the dictionary you lose your go and you lose your points. And the sink in the bathroom, uh, if you're filling up the sink, use this little guy here. That'll keep the water in the sink much better than the actual plug hole. Lots of strange little things for an old caravan, but anyway, have fun. And then there's the gas fire. Always a bit strange and uh, funny mechanism for lighting. So what I do is push it in, turn it, big click, hold it in for a few seconds. Let it go, turn it off. Do exactly the same thing again, and you hear the whoosh, and that's it started. Hold it in for a few seconds more, let go, and then turn it up, turn it down. Okay, that's you, and then you want to turn it off, push it in, again, and right off. That's all, folks.